Every banana you buy is a clone of the same plant. The fact there's no genetic difference means they're vulnerable to Panama disease, which attacks the roots and is currently wiping out plantations across the world. That's where this groundbreaking technique comes in. Here's a demo with the embryo of a wheat seed. Called grafting, they piggyback the shoot of the plant they want to protect to the root of a plant that can resist the disease. The reason we think it's significant is because there's possibility that it can be applied to important crops that everyone is familiar with, such as banana. And at the moment, there's a disease that infects banana's roots. And if we could graft disease-resistant roots onto banana, that would be a potential solution for that problem. Grafting is thousands of years old. It's mentioned in the Bible. But scientists thought it was impossible with monocots, a huge group of plants that includes wheat, bananas, barley, pineapple and onions. The breakthrough followed years of work from a PhD student who's just moved to New Zealand. Uh, it still feels... Um, very much like summer. I guess it's entering autumn and then so you'd be entering spring, is that right? Yes, that's right, yeah. It just was mind-boggling to me that, that a scientist would ever say something like, it's impossible. And I looked at some of the seeds and they had sprouted and one half of the seed was what species A and the other half of the seed was species B. And I looked at it like quite like uh, is that what I think it is? And then I just, you know, called someone else over and they looked at it and then said, oh no, it looks like that. And so it was basically, that was the moment, you know, sort of not expecting anything um, exciting. And then immediately I was like, oh, we got to try this again. And then tried it again and it, you know, and it, and it kept working. And it's not just about protecting food from disease. You can get salt tolerance, you can get drought tolerance. Um, you can speed the plant to grow faster, you can slow the plant to grow shorter, make apple trees more compact and easier to harvest. Grafting monocots has the potential to help secure food for our future without the need for genetic modification or lengthy breeding programs. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridge.